Yes, it's me, Isaac Newton. And you're probably wondering, I am not moving my mouth right now. Well, I can explain that by saying it's my mind, the power I have learned throughout this period of time I've been gone. I am so very smarter than I used to be. I am smarter than all you put together, including the professor. And I am here today to talk to you about my three laws. The three laws of gravity. Newton's laws. Newton's laws, which is me, Newton, Isaac Newton. So now, let's uh, begin. Newton's first law, which is me, Isaac Newton. My first law. Every object in a state of uniform motion tends to remain in that state of motion unless an external force is applied to it. That was my first law. Newton's law, which is me, Isaac Newton. Newton's second law, which is me, Isaac Newton. My second law, my second law. The relationship between objects mass m, its acceleration a, and the applied force f, is f equals m a. Acceleration and force are vectors, parentheses, as indicated by the symbols being displayed in a slant bold font, parentheses, dot in that comma thingy. In this law, the direction of the force vector is the same as the direction of the acceleration vector, period. That was Newton's second law, my law, Isaac Newton, haha, <laughs> yes, my second law, that was it. Now for my third law, the shortest law of them all, but very important, pay attention to Newton's third law, which is me, Isaac Newton. Law three. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, period. Yes, period. Isaac Newton's third law, my law, Isaac Newton, which is me. That is all. <laughs>